robot makers, do you want to add a dumper truck trailer to your Smiles robot? Then keep watching. So I'm over here now in Fusion 360 and what I'm going to do is just talk you through how I've designed this Mars trailer truck. So the first thing I've done is I've created a new component that I'm going to create all the other subcomponents in called dumper truck and there's going to be the trailer itself that's got the wheels on it and that also houses the servo. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to sketch out the base of the bucket and that's going to be roughly the same kind of size as the Smiles. So the Smiles is about 58 millimeters by 70 millimeters and 32 millimeters tall. So next I'm going to extrude that up to create the bucket and then I'm going to create two little diagonal pieces that will slice into that bucket. So next we're going to create a shell which will scoop out some of the insides of the bucket. So there we go, it's looking a lot more like a trailer truck bucket now. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to create some little struts and the way that I've done this is I've created a couple of lines that are going down the side of the bucket and then I'm going to extrude them in to create that kind of ribbed effect. If I turn off the sketch we can see that a bit better and I'm going to do that on all the sides. So what I'll do is I'll create it on the other side and again we're going to push that back in, extrude it in and then I'm going to simply mirror that to the other side so both sides are now the same. Next up I'm going to bring in a servo component that I've already created and you can see there this servo is going to sit underneath the bucket and that's going to enable us to do that sort of tipping motion. So we're going to create a little attachment from the bottom of this bucket onto the servo and then the servo is going to be attached to the, the trailer chassis. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create the little pieces, the little struts that are going to come down either side of the servo and enable that servo to pivot from. So first of all I'm just going to sketch out a couple of rectangles on the bottom there. So I'm going to position those correctly by creating a, an offset plane just on the side here and then offsetting it a number of millimeters in and then I'm simply going to extrude that down so we can see there this is now going to be where the servo connects into. Just created an indentation there for the servo horn and I'm mirroring that onto the other side so that it looks symmetrical. I'm simply going to make a joint between the servo and the bucket itself. So next up I'm going to create that chassis so I've created a new component called base and then inside base we're simply going to draw out another rectangle we're going to extrude that down about three millimeters so that's creating the bottom of the chassis. So I've just moved some components out of the way there so we can see what's going on. So on the bottom of the chassis, what I want to do is create two little struts that stand up and the servo will go in between those and that's a screw point where we can screw into the chassis. So I've extruded those two up now. I've just adjusted the uh, one of the offset planes there. I'm then going to create two small screw holes about a millimeter in diameter and then I'm just going to extrude them back cutting into the design. And then next up in the design I've, I've outlined two holding pieces that are going to stand up and allow the, the trailer bucket to rest on them when they're not pivoting. I actually changed my mind about this later on so even though I've designed these extruding them up I actually don't use them. I've then extruded up a little wall so this is going to be um, where the wheel attaches to. So let's bring in the bucket again just so that we can see what's going on. Bring the servo back in, we can see how this is sort of coming together now. So then next up what I've done is I've created a side profile for the wheel. So the nice thing about these Smiles wheels, quite an elegant design, we create this little shape here and then we simply rotate it round an axis. We use this revolve function. So then next what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the front piece of our chassis which is just here. I'm going to extrude that up to create that front wall. I've got an example here of a Smiles chassis and you can see there it's got that little cutout section and that enables these two plugs here to slightly bend in as we put the, the wheel over the top of it. I'm then going to mirror the wheel onto the other side of the truck. So if I just spin that round we can now see that we've got two wheels and then I'm going to apply a nice four millimeter fillet all around. And that's one of the things that makes a Smiles look like a Smiles is it's got this nice little rounded fillet all the way around the bottom. So next up we're going to create the connector, the thing that actually fastens it to the Smiles. If I create a little triangular section this is going to be the connector to our Smiles. Similar to how the Smiles robot has the connector. So on a regular Smiles chassis we have a little connector and that can simply drop into place there. So that's about a 2.5 millimeter gap the wall. So next we're going to extrude that up and this is going to come in two sections. So there's going to be a piece that connects to the Smiles robot itself and then there's going to be the piece that connects to the trailer. So I'm creating a little pivot point on there. I'm going to round the top of that off and a little bit nicer to work with. I'm then going to create a new component which is the bottom of the trailer and then we're going to attach this onto the top. I've extruded up that triangular part and then I'm going to cut that into it. So this next combine function will cut the shape that we've created underneath with that pivot point. Give a nice roundness to the top there just to give it a nice look and feel and we can see there what that piece looks like inside. We've got this outer piece and we've got this inner piece and that'll sit on there on that little ball joint and it'll be able to move around. So then next just so that I could see whether the height works well I created a new dummy component that I'm just calling the dummy Smiles and then I'm just going to very quickly sketch up a Smiles robot. 
And then next I'm going to extrude up the bottom of this trailer connector and then just going to extrude in. We're going to create that profile shape that's in it going to enable this to connect to the smiles. And it's just a matter of extruding out a couple of rectangles with that kind of tooth joint there. I'm going to join together there the bottom of the trailer with this connector just so that they're one entire piece. And then I'm going to slice that bucket into two pieces. I was thinking about the best way to 3D print this. So currently one of the issues that we've got is if we just take a look at this yellow section here. So if I just isolate that piece, let's have a look at it. This is not an easy piece to 3D print because we've got this bottom piece here, which is nice and flat, but then underneath it, we have these pieces that stick out quite a way. So if we were to place this on a 3D printer and try and slice that, it would have to create loads of support material underneath that flat piece, uh, and that'd be quite wasteful on printing. So what I was thinking was, what we can do is just slice off the bucket in two, so that we have two pieces that we can then connect together with just a push fit. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna slice the bottom of the bucket from the top. So I'm then gonna call one piece the bottom bucket and one piece the top bucket. So we can see now the bucket has two pieces that make it up. It's easy if we actually switch the colour component cycling on so we can now see that there is different components. And after making this I thought it's probably best if I just recreate this piece. So I created a new component that I'm calling the bucket bottom and I'm going to use that as a tool to cut into the top piece. There's the top of the bucket. And you can see that, that the little shape that it's created will enable us to push fit onto there. So then I'm going to remove the piece that we didn't need. That's just that remove function there. I'm going to join together the bucket's top and what we have is the end result. So then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to save each one of these pieces as an STL file. So I simply right click on each component, save as STL, save that out to a file and then I'm going to upload them to Thingiverse. So here we are on Thingiverse. So it's thing number 4865160 and it's called the Smiles Trailer Dumper Truck Add-on Module. So I hope you enjoyed this Smiles Trailer Add-on Module and I shall see you next time.